Welcome to state number three on buying a storage unit across America. We are in the beautiful state of Utah. Let's get on the road. Last time in Las Vegas, Nevada, we found a gambling addict storage unit, sold some designer clothes and some DVDs and made $65. We began our scenic 300 mile drive up the entire state of Utah to Salt Lake City. Stopped along the way to grab some lunch at this absolutely beautiful Denny's and even met a new friend along the way. Uh, what are you doing on the scenic trail? I don't think, where's your vehicle? How are you doing this? You're just gonna stand there? Mr. 126, 294. Yeah, come on, 126, 294. <laughs> There's something about you that's really giving me a taste for a ribeye, you know, buddy? We made it to our hotel in Salt Lake City, which for some reason had a Porsche in the lobby. Look at this view from our hotel. Enough playing around, let's get down to business. We are the top bid at $100. 10 seconds left on this unit. Five, four, three, two, Boom, and we got it for $100. Here's our beauty of a storage unit we paid $100 for. It looked like that something tried to eat the door. I don't really know what happened there, but let's see what we got for 100 bucks. <sighs> you know, the real reason we chose this one was because our other one got canceled. And two, I see some laptops and electronics down there. Those are easy pawn store sales, so let's hope we can pull something else good out of it. Remember, we have to sell everything on this spot, and every single dollar we raise is gonna go to St. Jude's Children's Hospital, and we're trying to reach that $10,000 goal before we get through with the 10 states. And don't forget, guys, community effort. Every single like you leave on these videos and every single new subscriber from these videos is gonna add a penny to a pot for one massive donation at the end. So help us out and share it out. Let's get into the unit. Hey, you hungry? You wanna sugar wafer from like probably two years ago? I I would actually love that. Ew, this is <laughs> trademark 2017. Is this a five year old sugar wafer? Mmm. Mm, yeah, we're just gonna drop that thing. Christmas tree box, but do you think it's actually a Christmas tree? That's the question. Ugh. It does. It feels a little too heavy to be I a Christmas tree. I can see through tree. here. Is it? What's it look like? Uh, yeah, that's actually a Christmas tree. But it's a how big of one? Seven foot tall, pretty much big Christmas tree. Nice. If we were at home, that would be an easy 20 bucks right now. But right now, it's probably gonna be a donation. Give somebody a Christmas tree for Christmas, you know? Let's see if there's careful, any laptop. Careful, careful. I saw that thing try to assault me. Did you see that? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I just heard careful. I didn't know what it meant. I didn't know the thing was coming to attack me. I, I couldn't like verbalize it. <laughs> That's all right. Hey, an Apple laptop. Ooh, an older Check one. Check that out, really. Definitely an older Mac. Let's see, how do I, is it the wrong uh, way? Okay. Yeah. Wow, an iBook G4. Hey. What the heck? G4. <laughs> What the heck? Before. This right here. Th okay, that, that that's means something. Very weird. That is a message from the heavens above, right there. That we're doing a cool thing. Now that, that's so weird. That is so weird. <laughs> All right. Nothing else in there besides a pretty colored sock. What else is in this front of this little bag here? Come on, something cool, something cool. Uh, there's the wires. Maybe uh, I don't know what that goes like a TV. And then another wire here. So nothing else in this bag. Me and this thing's got beef apparently. You saw it on camera. Try to assault me. I did. But this is a nice room divider again this would be a good easy sale but i think what what if we try our hand at putting this on facebook marketplace we could if and we could fit it happens. in the car and everything that's yeah. the thing if it's gonna fit it's pretty big it's almost as tall as me but that we will try this it looks like all sweaters i'm gonna pull one out make sure they're not new no they're not new so these kind of used clothes we're just gonna donate to shelters oh uh, this Ooh. is that alcohol mm -hmm. okay we'll get to that in a second but there's something in here can i set it right here yeah. Let's see what's on inside the bag. Something good. Oh, it's a bunch of shoes. A bunch and bunch of shoes. Nothing high end. Everything's looks slightly used. So again, definitely something we can drop off somewhere around here. Let's see what's in the white box. Doesn't that look like a drink? It definitely is. Isn't. Just. What I wanted, I totally wanted a full thing of Kieran Ishaban these first malt. Yeah, this we're is. Gonna, we're gonna become alcohol salesmen. No, I think that's highly illegal. Yes, it is. I think these are gonna have to go straight to the landfill. This looks like sweaters, clothes. This right here, also clothes. This one, a lot of clothes in here, huh? Yeah. A lot of clothes in here. All the clothes, again, will just be donated. Here's another thing of clothes. What is this guy back here? That's the question. Well, first, another thing of clothes. This right here. What is this? What is that? This is what, like a little shower thing? Towel bar set. Towel set or towel rack. Okay. That. But what is this? What in the- Looks like a washing machine. A miniature washing machine? Is that really what it is? There's, it's full of stuff though. So let's see what's in there. Traditional, what is that? Corner uh, basket. Corner basket for a shower. All right, let's put that out here. And 
Well, other than that, we got a bunch of sheets. Weird. I wonder if this thing, I've never seen one of these before. Five years of buying storage units. Hopefully that has some value. All right, why do I feel like we always find a vaporizer in almost every single storage unit we buy? Don't you think it's like- Because we do. Like nine out of 10 at least. What's that? Oh, what the heck? What? Do you see that? I do, what the heck is that? I don't know. A lighter? It has a lock and an off. What's it like a ray gun? Uh. Torch. That's a torch lighter. Whoa. Oh my. I feel like I got a ray gun. Bag it up. That's crazy. That's I've never cool. seen that. Okay, but now I want to open up, because that wasn't this, like a rose water soap thing. So now I want to open up this and see if that's really what it's supposed to be or not. Let me grab a knife. Let's slice it open and see. Come on, don't be a vaporizer. Ah, I see a vaporizer. <laughs> yeah, that's brand new though. Yeah, it's definitely brand new, so. Again, they're not worth a whole lot, so realistically, yeah, something like this, too, so. it's just better to just donate to somebody because people, a lot of people need them, so this will probably go to our donation pile. First suitcase back here. Let's see what's in here. Hopefully not clothes. We want good stuff. We want good sellable stuff. Open. Electronics. Oh, I said open. I meant I need to lift it. <laughs> Look, <laughs> there's see. no zipper. Aww. All right. So, clothes right off the top but I feel some hard stuff over here. Okay, that's good. So let's make sure that this is all closed. So far, that's all I feel. We can check here. I'll just take this one pair. Let me check the pocket. Got to. This is what goes on off camera. Yep. All right, that is all closed in there. All right. Nothing over there, but there's something hard here. Come on. Bottom of a pair of shoes. And there is- Oh, front pocket. Front pocket. What's this? The, Dryer sheet? Hey, yeah. at least it smells good. Next suitcase here. Nice teal plaid one. Ooh. That actually has a zipper. Thank you. Uh, Another bag. Bag and a bag. Bag and a bag. All right, let's see what's under this bag first. Ooh, Ooh. purses. Okay. Ooh, there's stuff in the purses. Okay. All right, all right. All right, let's get this first purse open. Is it a purse in a purse? Uh, possibly. It, yeah. That's definitely what it looks like. I was like. trying to be sarcastic. Don't say that. You bring the stuff to fruition. Is it a purse full of cash? All right, that's a purse. <laughs> This is, does it have anything in there? Just fab. All right. Nothing in there though. So that's one purse, two purses. This one seems to be better quality. So let's see what brand this is. What? Well, I can get it open. It's a piece of paper in here. What is it? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> uh, I don't see a brand in that one. All right. So that aside, that aside, and this sparkly one has some mm. old candy in there, which Ooh, is great. That's value. Just great. Does it? <laughs> Uh, nothing in the pockets, and I don't see a brand. Then we have just a reusable bag here. Let me see if there's any side pockets. There's no, some front ones. There's front ones. I can open up some of these. Some of them are empty. What is this? A wheel? A wheel. Why do you have a wheel in there? <laughs> okay, in here. About your phone, Alcatel, my flip thing. One last pocket here is empty. Now the pink bag that was in there. What do we got? What do we have? Hopefully we have something other than clothes. Fingers crossed. You know, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers Cross them. Cross them now. All right. We have, I see a tag. Okay. Okay. This is, I don't know, it says $5. I don't know what, what does that say? Deseret Industries? Yeah. So I don't know if that's like uh, something specific to Utah. I've never heard of it. Uh, we have a bunch of clothes there. And on this side, we have clothes all the way to the bottom as well. Let me check these pockets. I see a front one too. Nothing there. Come this on. One feels like something in this one. Uh oh. What is this? What is that? Uh. Um. I don't know if I want to know. I don't know what this is. Okay. That looks like trash. <laughs> it is trash. What let's, about that front pocket? Let's check the front pocket. Front it pocket. Is. What is this? Piece of scrub pants. So this one right here is clear. We can see through it. It's mostly like really thick blankets, which is good for the winter time. We will just donate all that. Suitcase we have in the corner and then to the laptops in the Ooh. corner. So let's go through this one. I don't think I can fit this one on top of there. All right. If it's okay, I'm gonna put it on the ground. Drop it. All right, let's go through these pockets first. Hey. Hey. Is this a, oh, I thought it was brand new. It's just some, I don't know what those booklets are, but an extension cord. We'll take which is it. Cool. Uh, those, the heck is this? I feel what like a magician. <laughs> uh, it's got a locks on it. Oh, okay. I thought, I thought it was a parachute. <laughs> it is a hammock. It has two like clips on it. Two yeah. Clips on the side. Cool. Nice. Uh, this probably goes to it. Yeah. Parachute hammock. Uh, that's weird again. I said parachute, <laughs> you said hammock. Yeah, that is. Again, magician. <laughs> All right, let me make sure nothing else in here. No. 
All right, let's go into the main compartment. Come on, fingers crossed. Well. What is that big block right here? Hopefully a hey. laptop. Something's in there? Yeah, something's in there. All right. All right, laptop. Hey. hey. Whoa, that's a big boy. All right, Acer. It's a Let's big Acer. Open it. Open, please. Thank you. Yeah. Not in the best condition here, but Acer uh, AMD. I don't know what that means. Yeah, i never seen it. It's a uh, huge laptop, though. Yeah, it is a big one. Um, Acer Aspire 5100 series. Model number BL51. All right. Okay, All so right. we have another laptop to add to the Apple one and the ones in the corner. We don't know what those are yet. Uh, some nice winter clothes, some winter boots, more winter clothes. These are just gloves, the Under Armour, and some trash up there. Now the main reason we chose this unit as our backup, I saw this crate of laptops here. I think there's at least two in here we can see from the pictures. So number one, we got a HP Chromebook. Open it up. Uh, it doesn't say the processor or anything, but at least all the keys are there. The mouse is in nice condition. It's a little dusty, but you know, a wipe will clean that up. So we got a third laptop right here. And then we got, is this a fourth one? Yeah, that one's a Samsung Chromebook in not of good a condition. You see the hinges? Yeah. A little busted. Ah, ooh. ooh. Really busted. That hurt my heart. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're just gonna leave this one here. Maybe we go to like an electronic store to try to sell these. You know, they'll use them for parts, hopefully. This is empty. This is a keyboard for a tablet. Maybe right. the tablet's in there. I'm gonna set this up well. Let's see, wires galore in here. Look at all these. Probably should keep them, huh? Just in case. Yeah, just in case. You don't know what they go to. There's more in this bag though, like this. A PlayStation wallet. Cool. With a uh, Pokemon card, a random, look at this, Kling, an old baseball card, and another random energy card. What is this one? Brian Harvey <laughs> from the year. Doesn't say on it. Mm, weird. I guess we'll set those aside. You never know. I mean, they're in beat up shape. So even if they are rare, they're going to be worth a fraction of what they should be. In this one, we got, hey, is that a TI-80 something? No, this is a Casio FX 9705G. But still, calculators are worth money. Set it up there. What else do we got in here? Look in there. You want to dump it out or? No, there's not much else in there. There's a marker and there's this used pair of headphones with gook on them. So I'm just going to leave them in there. A belt. What about this Target bag? Is this Target? I don't know what that is, but there's something under it too. You see that? What is that? I don't know. We'll get to it. Old hat. This. Ooh, this sounds like something's in there. It, ew, what is that? Ah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. And then all the only other thing in there is another hat. Then this guy, what is this a little laptop? What, what the heck is this? It says on there an i5 8th gen. Is this like a processor? The asset tag. Hmm. No death. I. Oh, is it one of those little mini laptops? I mean, desktops? I don't. It, maybe. it might be. Other than that, though, only other thing in here is some used food, dirty socks, and not much else. We're going to try a different strategy today. We haven't been making much money selling directly to stores, so we took the best items, donated the rest. We have the box of computers and electronics in the mobile washing machine, and instead, we're going to take pictures, list them on Facebook Market place to the city we're going to and see if we can get any buys like that but for now i think we should get lunch where should we go i wonder where we should go so we went ahead and grabbed lunch at the best burger place in america in and out and then proceeded to start taking pictures of all the laptops and our mobile washing machine to put them on facebook marketplace i also went ahead and listed the pink calculator on ebay for 23 bucks within 10 minutes of listing that calculator on ebay we got it sold for 23 dollars. i'm going to take those laptops we have listed on facebook marketplace and list that lot as 100 dollars on ebay and see if we can't also get that sold on the way we then began the most beautiful drive i think i've ever seen from salt lake city utah all the way to colorado i think we may have just lined up a buyer for that washing machine on facebook marketplace fingers crossed it goes smoothly but we all know how facebook marketplace works sometimes give me your facebook marketplace horror stories down in the comments cross your fingers for us let's see if we can get that sold now that we got into our hotel look what i got here no not this pimple it wore on my face last night. Can't see it. I can see it. <laughs> we got a $60 offer for the laptops, and you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and accept that right now and get those things ready to go, which actually puts us out of all the units we've bought so far, the smallest, ugliest one. <laughs> in the profit zone isn't that crazy now it's time to get packing supplies for the two things we sold on ebay most people would say go to walmart and get your supplies but we say let's go to the free section aka the dumpster any dumpster you can find and see if we can find a box so let's see so this is game stops definitely share with a food place like always of course i don't have my gloves they're in the car 
but all I see is like little boxes and I don't want to use a food box. So let me see if I can find another dumpster. This one looks to be an actual recycle one. So what I need is one big enough for the calculator and I need some bubble wrap for the laptop. So check this out. This right here is perfect and we have more right there and all I need to do is find a smaller one. Hold on one second. So I put together one box for this packing or uh, bubble wrap, which is really good quality bubble wrap, actually. <laughs> All right, so we have some bubble wrap. Now let's see if I can find a small box. If not, I'm gonna just have to cut down one of these big ones. It looks like these are the smallest boxes I find. No, I do not see any boxes smaller than this, so let's just take this to the car. Put this box in the car. Here, Garrett, I have your first job. You have to hold our box. Thank you. The problem with ending up everywhere at night is everywhere is closed. You think this is about to happen? Uh, oh no! Put it in the other way. Put it in Which the other way. way. Which like way? bottom, bottom first. Okay, hold on. Oh, oh, oh. figure it out. Nope. <sighs> nope. Nope. It's not going in there, is it? Come on, you stupid box! I feel like if we force it in there, they're not gonna be able to get it out. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey. Good job. Uh, Good job. Those laptops, I saw you say thank you. Hey, you had no idea what you were supporting at the time, did you? But we appreciate that. Hi, Mark. All right, there we go. Okay, okay turn it's around. not that heavy. Yeah. Okay. Right. For my daughter, and she's been looking for one, so it's okay, going to make cool. her happy. Awesome. Oh, cool. Here, here's 50. Awesome. Thank you. All righty. Thank you. you. Sure, you got it. Yeah. I All right. Yeah, I <laughs> hey, thank you. All right. Yeah. Hey, thank you. Big time. Have a good night. Yep, you too. Let's go ahead and make our donation. We sold the mobile washing machine for 50 bucks, the laptop for 60 bucks, and the calculator for 23, which adds up to 133. Shipping's on us. I don't want to take shipping out of it because that would take too much. That makes $133. And let's go ahead and process that donation. These little bits of resale money is great, but the big chunk of our big donation is going to have to come from this community effort. Don't forget, every single like you leave on these videos and every single new subscriber for these videos is going to put a penny in a pot for one massive donation at the end. We gained over 70,000 subscribers last month, which would be an additional $700 on its own. And I know that could be beaten this month. We want to hit $10,000 in 10 states. And I believe with you guys' support, we could definitely do that. I'll see you in the next state. Let's get into this guy. That is a little laptop, isn't it? Ooh, look, there's Susan B. Anthony coins. Hey. Signed by somebody. So this big winner going straight to St. Jude's.